Oh, oh, hey, little guy. You, are you stuck? Are you, you bubble? Come here. Hey, Ron, get your brother out of the hole. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out, buddy. Hey, what's up guys, Beyond Vox, and welcome to Mods to You. Showing off today the Weathers and Tornado mod. Now, this has changed a bit over the year or so that it's been out. So, uh, they've taken away stuff, they added stuff. So, let's go ahead and get right to it before I show you all the crazy that this mod has to offer. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's already raining, and there's already leaves and everything else going around. That's because I went into the settings a little bit, and I changed it so that storms are more often. Also so that tornadoes have a better chance of showing up. Because if you decide to use this, uh, it doesn't exactly give you tornadoes right away and you can't become God and, and just use them whenever you want, okay? What it does, it just randomly has them show up. The question is now, how do you know when a new tornado is gonna show up? Well, that's one of the new features that they added when you hit the plus button on your keyboard and now has this new UI that pops up. So you have options like particle rain, which I really like this. It takes away that harsh look of rain. Also, uh, I'll get into this set waves and stuff. This actually controls the water. But over here in the left side, this top left, this is where you see the storm intensity. Right now it's 0.0. .0. So I'll go ahead and turn the weather, uh, turn it into lightning so that it has a better chance of showing up, which you have to close in order to do that. So I'll go weather. Whoop thunder there you go now the storms are going to start having a better chance to show up so you can see the storm counter already kicking off uh the top left you see it's at storm stage two now during the five stages from one to five a tornado can show up at any point if it shows up that's the stage that it's going to be at and the intensity now let's go ahead and talk about the water here because the water is this radius that you can control this big circle that follows you around as you run around. The reason why is because you can change the level heights of the water and you don't want to change it in the entire world. That's just gonna crash your game and be very chaotic. But if you go ahead and open up your UI, you guys can see that, well, first particle rain. I like, oh, like I said, it doesn't look good when it's on. But uh, go ahead and set your range. Now you can see the big circle that you control goes further out. I just got hit by a leaf. Uh-oh, I think a tornado's about to happen. <gasps> Uh, and then you can go ahead, I'll, I'll go ahead and put all the way out. No, that that's almost, yeah, okay, that's far enough. Now the wave height, that changes, now I need to turn this particle right off. That changes, here you go, you can start seeing it, seeing it go crazy. And this actually gets really high. When it starts hitting the shorelines, that's when it looks a little bit sketchy and weird. But yeah, look how, look how I can get it. There we go, go to the shoreline now. A kind of... Yeah, it starts getting really sketchy over here. Okay, let's go ahead and see how high it gets. I believe it gets, uh, gets like 10 blocks high or something. Yeah. Yeah, it's looking, I mean, I guess, you know, it's waves crashing, right? Now, this is the other cool thing I'll get into, is that they made surfboards. That's right, they made surfboards. Now, there's no way to craft this yet, unfortunately. But here you go, the surfboard. And yes, it does affect... Uh, it does work in waves and everything else. That's the whole idea behind it. It also works with tornadoes and uh, So it just you know goes around tornadoes in the in a big circle Wait, Oh, okay. I'm not gonna be able to catch that. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here I use your boo -boo. Now it works just like a boat if you can catch it. It's a lot easier when you when you oh did I launch another one? I did so you got in oh and actually you can ramp it too. So let's go ahead now Okay, where's the front of it? There we go. Okay, I think we're going. <laughs> gonna ramp it on the land. Yow! There you go. Yay! So now you have your little surfboard as well. This Enderman is freaking out. He doesn't know what's going on right now. All this water going everywhere. He thinks it's the end of the world. Now let's go ahead and set the wavelength back to normal so it's a little less crazy. Okay, how much time do we have? Uh, no, it's almost on wait, uh, storm stage three. So. Basically, once it gets to 1.0, it restarts and sets the next stage of the storm. So, here is the other thing. This this is the biggest first thing that you ever want to create, especially if you want to do it on a Let's Play world. You want to know when the tornadoes are coming. And the way to do it is by this. This is a tornado siren, which is going to warn you, but you also need a tornado sensor. Which, basically, the whole idea of this is uh, to have the sensor 
going to the siren obviously but it's kind of like set up sensors in different areas of the map maybe and that way you can know where it's coming from when you have it hit like a particular siren with a sign saying like oh the northeast or southeast side or something uh, I think that's probably the most logical logical way now there's a couple miscommunications with how these actually work you don't need redstone an active piece of redstone to use it all you have to do is just go ahead and put a redstone line just connecting the two that's it the whole idea though is if you do have an active piece of redstone like this is so you can actually have it like no uh, flicker lights uh, do other kinds of things anything to basically warn you real fast that a tornado is coming in case if you can't hear it so uh, that's just one example so I'm sure you guys can come up with all kinds of crazy stuff but here you go uh, the simple building and crafting of it no new crazy materials or anything else just very simple and basic how much time do we have uh, it's on stage three now so round three and four I know they usually have one tornado pop up now the other thing are uh, things that you can't build yet either which is get really weird let's do a time set day oh the day, day what was that time set day these are new items that are being created and that you can take advantage of so here you have a test a test item this is really weird the whole idea of this is to i'm going to say create a platform which you can view your destruction uh happen from a tornado basically it's going to pick up everything around me and make a random tower really kind of here you go it's kind of crazy and right click just anywhere you don't even have to click on the ground you can just click in the air it doesn't matter and uh there you go it just makes a ridiculous ridiculous size tower just for no reason no reason whatsoever so it takes the bricks that are around the area and makes your your watchtower. Uh, the other idea maybe that I can see is that it's basically a tornado siren tower. So you can set it up there. I don't know. Kind of let's play world. It kind of defeats the purpose. The other thing is uh, drill items. They're adding some new tools here. So we have drill items. Uh, they're also kind of in any direction in a way. So I'll go ahead and show you with a right click. Boom make stairs essentially so a giant staircase look at that the best part is that you can always get like a little glitchy and just automatically see what's going on over in that area so there you go a perfect staircase automatically now again this there is no way to craft this unfortunately so i'm sure they're going to have a crafting method uh soon if they do i'll try to annotate it and remember and um or just make sure to check the website but that's the main gist of it uh even once you do get the crafting method now, as for more stuff, here you guys go, a shock wave item. This is kind of random as well because it only it doesn't only work on land, right? It also works on lava and water, and it makes them into bricks. Check this out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do it on land first. Just do a right click. Boom, bada bang. It just takes like the first layer. In this case, it, it seems to be flipping it around. I've had a few tests with this and, oh, now, it seems to be doing something different every time. Okay, here, here's the best example though, I think, is with the water. I, I said, I said the best example, there you go. It's so derpy. I've had it before uh, do a shock wave and it did like a hole that was eight down and and now it just seems to be flipping. Now I'm just holding the right, right amount of Dude, dance, everybody dance. <laughs> Oh, nothing ever works as planned when you, when you kind of get to going. Hey, you see? I don't know, it's just so, so random. But basically, it's all about destruction, you know, when it comes down to it. Now, though, it's time for the fun part. It's time to destroy things because, uh, yeah, that's what this mod is all about. Tornadoes! Now, there's two kinds of tornadoes, and uh, it basically is a normal t tornado, tor tornado. <laughs> basically it's a normal tornado and a fire tornado it can evolve into and start setting everything in the flames uh, so of course when it picks up flames as well it'll do it and that kind of thing so tornadoes will pick up lava water everything uh, dirt and then it will just change textures and of course oh oh Ah, there we go! The birth of a tornado! And uh, depending on the level of the tornado, that is how much destruction it does. So right now it's a three, 
that's not gonna be too crazy but yes look how beautiful it is I can easily make a tornado montage uh, I took a couple worlds and we want to see how tornadoes looked in in them uh, what do you even pick oh you're picking up sand okay so you guys gonna hit some land now the biggest thing it picks up is of course the loose items or uh, gravity affecting items so you have uh, gravel and sand it really loves destroying nice Nice, it's making trees naked right now. Completely naked. It really doesn't touch stone too often. Look at that, a beautiful destruction path. There you go, and you never have to worry about, you know, leaves at all. It just automatically strips them for you. Run, creeper! <laughs> Nothing can touch a creeper. The other thing too is, uh, well usually I notice it when I'm recording, so I, uh, you don't see the chunks load as well but look at that that was beautiful beautiful this is only a oh actually it's gotten to a four it seems to be going a little bit a little bit deeper on that beautiful though now the best part is a not a, oh lava ah see you got a little fire now into it and we'll start dropping them down and setting everything else on fire which is awesome so there you go a beautiful path of destruction now, as for uh, some other tornadoes, let's go see what they're up to. Especially, I want to show you uh, surfing. Definitely got to show you surfing. And now to show off the brand new surfboards. All right, prepare my surfboard army. Be free, surfboards. <laughs> These things you'll fly. It's actually really hard to catch them once they get going. Little race cars. And uh, so, yeah, they just end up running around in circles. And you just keep planting more as you keep going in circles. But uh, yeah, this is what happens when they get caught in the water. Uh, and no waves, there's no waves on. Otherwise, ooh, that's a good idea. But yeah, so now you can get a bunch of crazy surfboard racing babies and all that going on. <laughs> These things actually dying. See, so, yep, there it goes. Be free, surfboards! <laughs> That'd be great if surfboard just went up with it flew into the side of your house. Now I'll show off when tornadoes hit a cathedral. This is Cathedral of Denaria. I showed off on the Minecraft Monday show and what? What is this? What's, see? It's weird because the tornadoes kind of seem to work at a height difference. So here we go, we're already above it, of course. So we have one tornado that's completely above the build. Meanwhile, there's two tornadoes underneath. So it's very interesting how it works as well. It's probably because there's that mountain. Maybe it spawned on the mountain and then they seem to travel on that height all the way across. They don't kind of follow as the land goes down. Ah, yes. Now check out this beauty. Not just one F5, but two of them. Now I have to show you how this affects your avatar when you're close by it. Here you guys go. I'll be flying without actually, you know, flying. It's just moving me by itself. Now on the land though, so if you're in, you know, not creative mode, uh, it can just suck you up like this. What perfect timing. And you're in the eye of the tornado before it decides to murder you. So there you go. Now, also, when you're on the ground, you can jump higher as well. So it's kind of like a little leap instead of, you know, just death automatically. Uh, as for mobs, let's go play with them a little bit. I've been waiting so patiently to see if tornadoes will suck up animals or mobs or anything. So patiently. Go search for a ghast. Oh my god. Stage three. I've been doing this for hours. Not this, the entire thing, because tornado. There used to be a tornado gun. There even used to be like underground worms. So much random stuff, but they got rid of that. And now it's it's you, you gotta wait. You have to wait for the tornado. Just hang in there, buddy. You'll get your tornado. Just hang in there. I don't know what's happening. I can't find him now. I'm done. You guys go find your own animals and throw them in there. Play a legit world, you know, besides mod and throw a bunch of animals in. God. All right, guys, that's it for me. I am Bebop Vox. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below as all of it supports and helps out. Be sure to check out some of the other crazy little mods as well, uh, with a lot of them having new updates. That's why I'm kind of going back and checking them out and seeing where all the new fancy stuff is since people did mod videos like two years ago. Now they're all revitalized with new stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. As always, diamonds to you. As I don't have any. And happy Minecrafting. <laughs>